Hey everyone, Dante here with The Raging Geek, and today we're going to take a look at DC Superpowers. These are recently released retro action figures from McFarlane Toys. This particular figure, Batman, I got this at Walmart. They were only $9.99, so I was pretty shocked. You know, you have the nice retro packaging, a brand new McFarlane action figure, and $9.99. Now, the original DC Superpowers toy line was released in around 1984, and uh, there was a number of uh, comic book miniseries that came out along with it. You can see right next to it, I had one that I just happened to have in my collection. Now, from what I understand, the DC Superpowers universe is separate from the actual Earth-1 main universe, uh, so its own continuity, no connection with the main comic book series of the times. You know, for McFarlane toys, a real bargain. You know, usually the larger McFarlane uh, DC Universe action figures, you know, they go from anywhere between like 18 to, to $23. This is the DC Superpowers retro line from McFarlane toys. We have Batman here, and we're gonna take a closer look. So, DC Superpowers Batman. A couple of things before I take a look at the figure. So, we take a quick look at the card, collect them all. So, we got uh, Superman, Darkseid, and Batman. And they also have the Batwing and the Supermobile. So, some extra figures and vehicles to take a look at. To go on the hunt for if you are interested in this series another thing I noticed so in the in the package the cape is secured by uh, one of these twisties and you see it actually makes a hole in the cape which isn't too cool I don't even know why they really needed to secure the cape that way I mean I guess yeah I, I don't know why I've never seen a cape secured that way, but they actually poked a hole through the cape and secured it to the plastic bubble inside with this plastic uh, fastener. Bad production process or packaging process on the part of McFarlane Toys, I want to say. You know, adult collectors do not like holes poked through their capes. Batman doesn't like holes through his cape either. Why? Would you poke a hole through my cape, McFarlane? Why? What did you do? What did you do? So, aside from that, you know, if we take a close look at Batman from head to toe, pretty basic action figure. They, uh, they measure about four and three quarter inches. I think with Batman, you're looking at maybe just under five with his, uh, you know, the bat ears on his head. But, yeah, pretty much uh, basic articulation, you know, arms kind of in this fixed position. They, they go up and down. Head moves left to right. Uh, you know, legs forward and back and just the knees bend like that. And that's pretty much it. So... Putting the cape on, it pretty much slides on the back of his neck like that, and that's it. And it's a very, uh, you know, for Batman cape, it's a very, I want to say, luxurious looking cape or regal looking cape. And it's got like a very uh, thick ruffle around the neck. Take a look at Batman on the spinner. You can see him in all his glory with his nice hole in his cape peeking through. Now, a few years later, you know, after Superpowers, they came out with, you know, the Batman movie, 
And, uh, you know, the mold, pretty similar with those action figures, uh, 1989. You know, I'll, I'll put him next to this Batman. You can kind of see for yourself. So the, the original DC Superpowers figures, they were from Kenner, I believe. And I think later on, five years later, 1989 Batman, those were from Toy Biz, I want to say. Uh, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't really check, but from what I remember. And you can see the size is pretty comparable. Uh, face slightly different, but, uh, you know, articulation exactly the same. He's actually missing his, uh, his Batarang belt. Probably something I did when I was a kid. I actually had that 1989 Batman when I was, uh, I want to say, close to, I want to say like 10 or 11, or, or 11 or 12, something like that. Still a young lad playing with toys when 1989 Batman came out. Even younger lad when the DC Superpowers came out. And that's it. $9.99 at Walmart. Go to Walmart. I mean, you're not going to beat that price. I, I don't even have to check online. You're not going to get it cheaper than Walmart. Sadly to say, you know, very few Batmans and Dark Sides on the racks. Definitely a pickup. I mean, just for the retro packaging alone, ten bucks. Great buy. Kudos for from McFarlane, though. You know, he definitely gets points off for the cape. Probably would have got. Uh, an A plus if you didn't have the uh, the hole in the capes, but aside from that, pick it up. Great for Batman fans. This was the Raging Geek. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come again soon. Take care. Hey, Michael. The only real Batman is Adam. Raging Geek. Retro. All things geek, where geeks can be geeks, raging geek, retro, all things geek, where geeks can be geeks.